go to point B, which is a little bit further away from the center of the Earth, only a distant H. An H is way, way, way smaller than the radius of the Earth. So I can calculate now what the difference in potential energy is between point B and point A. And I can use, and I should use, this equation. And when I use that equation, and you use the Taylor's expansion, the first order Taylor's expansion, you will immediately see that the result that you find collapses into this result. Because the G at the two points is so close that you will see that you will find then that is approximately MGH, even though it is the difference between these two rather clumsy terms. Uh, we will many, many times in the future use the one over R relationship for gravitational potential energy. Uh, we will get very used to the idea that gravitational potential energy is negative everywhere the way it's defined, and we will get used to the idea that at infinity the gravitational potential energy is zero. But whenever we deal with near Earth situations, like in 26100, then of course it is way more convenient to deal with the simplification that the difference in gravitational potential energy is given by mg 